In this video we're going to look at how you're going to get started using Revit uh, and how to open up a template and start doing some drawing. Now if you have a look at the interface that you're seeing here this is what you will see when you first open Revit up. This is the 2014 version of Revit and I'm using this because some students uh, are unable to use the 2015 version so the 2015 version is exactly the same so there should be no problems for those people using the most modern version and you may be even using a 2016 version I'm hoping that will look the same too okay first of all we have uh, these two areas here projects and families now at this stage we're only concerned with opening up a new project and we want to open up an architectural template you can see there's a number of different templates there um, so we want to open up an art, uh, architectural template if we had our own template we could click on new and that would allow us to browse and find that particular template that we want to use so I'll just cancel that at this stage and we'll just use architectural template It'll just take a little while for Revit to open up there and as it opens up we have a number of different areas that we can see on the screen um, if we start at the top we have some pull down menus or click on menus that when we click on them they actually bring up a new ribbon across the uh, top all of these do the same thing we have another set of tools up here which you can save from um, and do use some of the tasks that you might use more regularly like looking at 3D views making the lines thick or thin those sorts of things um, we have a pull down menu which is very similar to what you might see in other programs for saving uh, looking at recent documents um, and there are options down here as well that you can look into a um, number of different things there as well that you may be interested in later on um, but you've probably used those in things like Word uh, and other programs that you more frequently use so we'll just get out of that one over here is where our connection to Autodesk will be uh, and you can see I'm logged in all the time you might want to do that it's called Autodesk 360 now by being able to log into that because you joined Autodesk earlier you will be able to do some really um, nifty things online like um, rendering online and it happens a lot quicker um, and they actually you go online and get your image from there so it's pretty important that you do log in to that as soon as possible uh, obviously this area here is where we're going to be doing our drawing um, but first of all just over here we should have two boxes here properties and property a uh, project browser now the project browser will show us all the different views of our drawing and as we go along you'll learn more about those but you can see here we have floor plans and, and it automatically sets up a number of things in this template okay elevations east north west and so on right down to our sections our sheets which are a combination of all our drawings that you will produce right at the end so that one's important and this thing called families and we'll talk about that later on as well uh, if you lose one of these by mistake uh, you accidentally close it you can find that now I just need to remember where that is what was in there the view changes a little bit when I've made it smaller so that you can see it uh, maybe it's there I'll just pause for a minute and find okay yeah it's if you come into the view pull, uh, uh, ribbon and right up the, the end here you have a user interface where you can click on these so if if that's disappeared you just click in the box and, and make it come up as a tick again like you can see there okay I'm just going to draw some walls on here just so that you can get an idea of what's happening um, when we want to uh, put in uh, different entities we come into architecture um, and we have a number of different things that we can choose from here and I'm going to just click on walls and you'll see down in the properties that you have in this case a basic double brick wall but if I click on that down arrow we will have a lot of other walls in here as well okay some of them just generic um, and later on you'll be will show you how to develop your own type of wall uh, and set that up 
but at this at this moment I'm just going to use this double brick 270 uh, you can see that a lot of its settings are there and I'm just going to say that the base of this wall is going to be at ground floor level and I'm going to make the top constraint at um, level 1 and I'll just quickly draw up a rectangular box and and just hit the escape button a couple of times to come back to normal now what we have here we've been drawing in the ground floor here okay you can see it's highlighted um, and we have a number of other different types of floors and ones that I'm going to show you are the elevation so if I click on the north elevation what we can see here is the side view of the house from the north from the south and from the west now you can see it looks a little bit different in each one. What we can do is come down here and click Fine and also into this box which is our graphic display uh, and choose uh, Hidden Lines or we can choose Shaded Consistent Colors, that's probably about the same but Realistic will give us a brick look about it and we can also go for what we call a Ray Trace which isn't available there at this moment so we can do a lot of different things and look at it in different ways we can also go in and look at it in 3D like so again we can still have all of those different shadings and we can by holding the shift key down and our pushing our middle mouse button down we can hold the object and swivel it around to any picture that or any view that we want now you'll notice up here that this moves around as well so I'm holding shift key and middle mouse button down the roller and it can swing around but if I want to go back to have a look at the front view of the house all I need to do is click on that like so and I can then also go in and also click on the project browser to get my views back as well now you might have noticed this thing going across here this is a section view and that puts one in automatically but you can highlight those delete them and put them uh, put new ones in as you want to and if we have a look at this section one here you can see what we're getting is and we'll just go to wire frame you can see that we're getting like it's the wall has been cut and we're seeing just the inside of it now I think if we go fine we can see that a bit better you can see that there okay so that's our interface you'll learn more about it as we go along uh, as you follow the, the movies along as we go